Kevin Bryson will be fined and ordered to play two league games behind closed doors. That's the likely FA punishment following the disgraceful riots that forced the abandonment of Saturday's match with York. Where Brighton will play their next home game is unclear. The Goldstone ground has been sold to developers who will lease it back to Brighton for next season for £480,000 rent. Brighton's board and controversial chief executive David Bellotti have offered just £200,000. Yesterday, the club's former manager, Liam Brady, offered to pay a £40,000 deposit as figurehead to a consortium looking to buy Brighton. I and my colleagues in the consortium are prepared to come on board to relaunch the club. I am prepared, as are my colleagues, to put substantial money into the club. There are not many people prepared to invest money into a football club which has just sold its ground and does not have a new one to play in. But on Monday, Chairman Bill Archer rejected the offer. That will infuriate Brighton's fans, distraught at what they call asset stripping, and the chairman's plan to shift the club to Portsmouth next season, a temporary move rejected by the Football League, because the club have yet to get permission for a new ground back in Brighton. With Brady's offer likely to fail and Tuesday's lease not extendable, Saturday's ugly events could be the last chapter in the history of the Goldstone ground.